When you think of NASA, you probably picture rockets soaring into space, astronauts walking on the moon, or telescopes peering into distant galaxies. But what if I told you that NASA is also deeply interested in exploring the depths of our own planet's oceans? It might seem strange at first, but there's a fascinating reason behind it, the search for extraterrestrial life. Yes, you read that right. NASA believes that studying the extreme environments found in Earth's deepest ocean trenches could hold the key to understanding how life might exist elsewhere in the universe, particularly on ocean worlds like Jupiter's moon, Europa. This connection between the deepest parts of our oceans and the search for alien life might not be obvious at first glance. However, it makes perfect sense when you consider the extreme conditions found in both environments. By studying how life thrives in the crushing pressures, freezing temperatures, and perpetual darkness of the deep sea, NASA hopes to gain insights into what life might look like on other worlds. So buckle up, fellow explorers, as we dive into the extraordinary world of NASA's deep sea mission and uncover the surprising link between our oceans and the search for extraterrestrial life. NASA's interest in the ocean isn't just a passing curiosity. The agency has dedicated significant resources and expertise to this endeavor. They employ advanced underwater robots and submersibles to explore these uncharted territories. These missions involve collecting samples from the ocean floor, studying unique marine organisms, and analyzing the chemical composition of the water. The data gathered from these deep-sea expeditions is invaluable for understanding the potential habitability of icy moons like Europa, which may harbor subsurface oceans beneath their frozen crusts. In mission control rooms, scientists meticulously monitor and guide these underwater explorations, much like they do for space missions. One of the most intriguing discoveries has been the thriving ecosystems around hydrothermal vents, where life exists without sunlight, relying instead on chemical energy. These extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme conditions, provide a model for what life might look like on other planets or moons with harsh environments. NASA collaborates with marine biologists, oceanographers, and other experts to push the boundaries of our knowledge. The insights gained from these oceanic studies are already influencing the planning of future space missions, particularly those aimed at exploring ocean worlds. So, the next time you think of NASA, remember that their quest for knowledge extends far beyond the stars and into the mysterious depths of our own planet. The journey to uncover the secrets of the universe is as much about looking inward as it is about looking outward. The deep sea and outer space are two frontiers that, together, may hold the answers to some of our most profound questions. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the fascinating intersection of ocean and space exploration and the incredible discoveries that await us. At the heart of NASA's deep sea exploration lies Project NEMO, an ambitious mission aimed at plumbing the depths of the Mariana Trench, the deepest known part of Earth's oceans. This trench is a place of mystery and wonder, a final frontier on our own planet. Located in the western Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench plunges to a staggering depth of almost seven miles. That's deeper than Mount Everest is tall. Imagine the immense pressure and darkness that exists at such depths. Project Nemo employs cutting-edge technology, including remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, and autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, to explore this extreme environment. These machines are marvels of engineering, designed to withstand the crushing pressures and freezing temperatures of the deep sea. These robotic explorers are equipped with an array of scientific instruments designed to study everything from the geology of the trench to the unique life forms that call it home. They collect samples, take photographs, and record data, all while navigating the pitch black waters. But why the Mariana Trench? What secrets does it hold that make it so compelling to scientists and explorers alike? What makes this particular location so special? The answer lies in the extreme conditions found at such depths, conditions that are unlike any other place on Earth. The pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is over 1,000 times greater than at sea level, a force so immense it can crush most submarines like a tin can. The temperature hovers just above freezing, creating an environment that is both hostile and fascinating. Despite these harsh conditions, life persists. 
strange and wonderful creatures have adapted to survive in this dark, high-pressure world. These organisms have evolved unique adaptations, such as bioluminescence and pressure-resistant bodies, to thrive where few others can. And that's precisely what makes the Mariana Trench so intriguing to NASA. By studying the creatures that thrive in this extreme environment, scientists hope to gain a better understanding of the limits of life as we know it. This research could provide valuable insights into how life might exist in similarly challenging environments elsewhere in the cosmos. If life can survive in the Mariana Trench, it might also be able to survive on other planets or moons with extreme conditions. The potential for life to exist in similarly challenging environments elsewhere in the cosmos is a tantalizing possibility. By pushing the boundaries of our understanding here on Earth, we open the door to discovering life beyond our planet. Project Nemo is not just about exploring the depths of our oceans. It's about expanding our horizons and preparing for the future of space exploration. The lessons we learn from the deep sea could one day help us unlock the secrets of the universe. As we continue to dive into the abyss, we are reminded of the endless possibilities that lie ahead. The Mariana Trench is just the beginning of our journey into the unknown. Why would a space agency dedicate so much time and resources to exploring our oceans? The answer is surprisingly simple. Earth's oceans offer a unique and accessible testing ground for the technologies and strategies needed to search for life beyond our planet. Think of it this way. Exploring the depths of our oceans presents many of the same challenges as exploring the oceans that are thought to exist beneath the icy surfaces of moons like Europa and Enceladus. Both environments are characterized by extreme pressure, darkness, and the need for sophisticated robotic explorers to withstand these conditions. By developing and testing new technologies and techniques in the relatively familiar territory of Earth's oceans, NASA can refine its approach to exploring alien oceans. The lessons learned from exploring the Mariana Trench could prove invaluable when the time comes to send probes to distant ocean worlds in search of extraterrestrial life. Moreover, studying the unique life forms that thrive in the extreme conditions of Earth's deep oceans could provide clues about the kind of life we might encounter on other planets. Exploring the Hadal Zone, the deepest region of the ocean below 6,000 meters, is no walk in the park. This mysterious and largely uncharted territory holds many secrets, but it also presents a multitude of challenges that make exploration a daunting task. It's a realm of immense pressure, perpetual darkness, and frigid temperatures, posing significant challenges and risks to exploration. The Hadal Zone is named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, and it's easy to see why. The conditions here are as harsh and unforgiving as any mythological underworld. One of the most significant dangers is the crushing pressure. At these depths, the pressure is so intense that it can easily destroy most man-made objects. The deeper you go, the more the pressure increases, making it a constant battle to keep equipment intact. At these depths, the pressure is over 1,000 times that at sea level, enough to crush even the most robustly designed equipment. Engineers must use advanced materials and innovative designs to create submersibles and other equipment that can survive these extreme conditions. Remember James Cameron's 2012 dive to the Mariana Trench? This historic expedition highlighted the incredible engineering feats required to explore the Hadal Zone. Cameron's journey was a testament to human ingenuity and determination. His specially designed submersible, the Deep Sea Challenger, had to withstand forces equivalent to the weight of 100 elephants. This gives you an idea of the immense pressure at these depths and the extraordinary measures needed to counteract it. Then there's the challenge of operating in complete darkness. The Hadal Zone is beyond the reach of sunlight, plunging it into eternal night. This lack of light makes navigation and observation incredibly difficult. Sunlight cannot penetrate these depths, making navigation and observation difficult. Submersibles must rely on powerful lights and advanced imaging technology to see where they are going and to study the environment around them. Special lighting systems and imaging techniques are crucial for navigating this underwater abyss and capturing images of the creatures that reside there. These technologies allow scientists to study the unique and often bizarre life forms that call the Hadal Zone home. 
The extreme cold also poses a challenge. Temperatures in the Hadal zone are just above freezing, which can affect both the equipment and the researchers themselves. Temperatures in the Hadal zone hover just above freezing, demanding specialized equipment and energy sources to keep instruments functioning correctly. The cold can cause materials to become brittle and electronics to fail, so everything must be designed to withstand these icy conditions. Despite these challenges, the potential rewards of exploring the Hadal Zone are immense. The Hadal Zone is one of the last frontiers on Earth, and it holds many secrets that could change our understanding of life and the planet itself. It's in these extreme environments that we might find clues to the origins of life on Earth and the potential for life on other worlds. The organisms that thrive in the Hadal Zone have adapted to survive in conditions that would be lethal to most other forms of life, offering valuable insights into the resilience and adaptability of life. Scientists are continually discovering new species and learning more about the unique ecosystems of the Hadal Zone. Each expedition brings new knowledge and raises new questions, driving the quest for understanding ever deeper. As technology advances, so too does our ability to explore these remote and hostile environments. Future missions to the Hadal Zone will undoubtedly reveal even more about this mysterious part of our planet, and perhaps even about the potential for life beyond Earth. The Hadal Zone remains one of the most challenging and intriguing areas of exploration. With each dive, we push the boundaries of what is possible, uncovering the secrets of the deep and expanding our understanding of the world we live in.